How's it going again, YouTube? Uh, this is going to be part two of my horror DVD update. And I'm going to get this started with The Prowler. And I thought this was a pretty good film. Uh, not the greatest, but it's pretty good. It had a lot of good uh, death scenes, courtesy of Tom Savini. Uh, so that makes the movie worth it, <laughs> obviously. But, uh,. Yeah, it's about this guy that just goes around killing people on the anniversary of something that happened back in the 1940s. And, uh, wait till you find out who it is. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a pretty decent movie. The Prowler. And next up, we got Castle Freak. A Stuart Gordon film. Very strange, very gory. Uh, it's about these people that move into this castle with this guy chilling in the dungeon uh, his mom or whoever was taking care of him I think it was his mom I'm not too sure uh, would beat him whip him leave him in the dungeon and feed him scraps and uh, his mom died and I guess he was just left there and his other family moves in and uh, yeah he's just waiting for him pretty this is a very strange movie <laughs> pretty some pretty graphic scenes there's a scene in here with uh this this guy and a hooker in his little dungeon and uh he kind of eats her nipple yeah strange <laughs> yeah pretty weird Stuart Gordon's Castle Freak and next up we got the gem known as the Living Dead of Manchester Morgue, also known as Let Sleeping Corpus Corpses Lie, and I think it goes by another title, but I'm not sure. And yeah, I was very thoroughly surprised by this movie. I enjoyed it a lot. And I have to say, it's probably my third favorite zombie movie. This movie is just dope as fuck. Um, I'm going to open this up. It's the Blue Underground re-release, the double disc edition. I don't really want to go into the plot and spoil it, but uh, I just love how it was filmed. I love the plot, uh, the storyline, kind of a you know wrong place at the wrong time type of thing. It's got a few twists in it, and I really enjoyed the ending as well. I won't really go into detail and spoil it for people that haven't seen it, but I highly recommend this one great film and that's Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue pick it up if you haven't seen it if you're into zombie films and next up we got Cemetery Man and this is a very funny uh, horror comedy about this guy he lives in the cemetery and his job is basically to kill people that come back to life or to, they rise from their grave and come back but yeah very funny dark comedy <clears throat> and next up got high tension I had always seen this around uh, the like just everywhere you know Best Buy, FYE uh, anywhere you can buy movies, I'd always seen it. I'd always heard, I'd always heard uh, mixed reviews about it, and I always heard how people didn't like it for some reason. I guess it was because, because of the ending, which I, <laughs> I, I enjoyed the ending. Kind of threw me for a loop, but I enjoyed it. And I thought this was a very tense movie, very graphic, very violent. And there's a scene where a dude gets decapitated with a dresser. Uh, yeah. A very, very, very brutal film. I enjoyed it. I don't understand why there's people out there that didn't enjoy it. I guess they thought that ending was far-fetched or something, but I don't know. I thought it was alright. The movie itself was cool. And next up... We got Let's Scare Jessica to Death, and I was thoroughly surprised with this movie as well. 
It's about this girl, this woman that just gets released from a mental institute. She's trying to move forward with her life, and she goes out to the country with uh, her husband and his friend, and uh, things just start getting weird. She she thinks she's seeing things, but she's not sure. Uh, and I kind of like how this ended, just how it's it left it open for interpretation for the most part. And this is actually a PG-13 film. It's very well made for a PG-13 horror movie. Uh, I have a lot of uh, really biased against, I guess, yeah, biased against uh, PG-13 horror films that have been coming out recently. I think they should take notes from this one because it was done very well. It was very creepy. Not a lot of gore. There's some towards the end, but it's really not a lot. This is a very, very good film. And I showed this in my other video. It's one of my favorite films of all time. It's definitely uh, my favorite H.P. Lovecraft that I've seen. Uh, but yeah, it's <laughs> this has some incredible effects in it. And I was very thoroughly surprised with this one as well. I had the trailer up on my uh, on my page. And before I actually got this, I was watching that trailer over and over. <laughs> it was just such a trip to watch. But yeah. If you're in HP, uh, Lovecraft, or Stuart Gordon, or Brian Usner's uh, stuff, or if you're into like horror, sci-fi, uh, comedy splatter type movies, this is definitely one you should check out from beyond. <clears throat> and next up is The Brood, David Cronenberg. Uh, very strange movie, especially towards the end. <laughs> Um, it's about these little uh, dwarf humanoid looking things that go around attacking people and there's a reason for it but obviously I'm not going to spoil it um, yeah <laughs> but yeah it's a very weird film Cronenberg you know, it's probably one of his I don't know if it's one of his better films. It's a great movie, but I don't know if it's one of his better movies. I mean, I, I still enjoyed it, though. Especially the ending. Next up, we have Dead End Driving. Uh, it's about these people that are stuck in this driving for the rest of their life. A lot of them are like, I guess, delinquents. And it's kind of, it kind of acts as like a... Uh, Prison, which yeah, very interesting film. I guess it was filmed in uh, Australia, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, not really scary. I don't know if I consider it uh, horror. I guess it's horror, but yeah, I enjoyed it though. The ending was kind of unexpected as well. <clears throat> Next up, we have another uh, Cronenberg film called Rabbit. This girl and her boyfriend get into an accident, uh, and she ends up growing something out of out of out from under her armpit that actually comes out and stabs people whenever she gets close, and uh, kind of turns them into these crazed rabies having things. <laughs> that attack other people and start slobbering green slime out of their mouth. Very strange movie, once again, by Cronenberg. <coughs> but yeah, check this out if you're into Cronenberg shit. And next up, we got Scarecrows. Yeah, Another movie I was thoroughly surprised with. Uh, these group of uh, like criminals or vigilantes uh, go. They just got done pulling off a heist and they're trying to escape. And one of their people escapes with the money, kind of betrays them, and they end up in this field with this empty house and all these scarecrows and people keep getting uh, picked off. And they don't know who's doing it at first, but then they find out it's the scarecrows and it's just. Describing it doesn't really give it justice, but very creepy film. 
thoroughly surprised with this, like I said. And uh, closing, I'm closing in on the 10-minute mark, so I'll go ahead and cut it off there. And uh, go ahead and stay tuned for part three. Peace.